My name is Erin Zimmerman, and here is my art research project for English 112. I decided to do the pop art style for my project mainly because I just love the color of the um like the colors that they use and it's so bright and I happened to find this PowerPoint template with um with pop art and colorful and I love the template and I love everything about it. So first off I'm going to um talk about a bunch of people and stuff like that. So, these pictures you see right here, they were made by Andy Warhol. He is the father of pop art. He originally, pop art was originally, originally was born in England. It came around Britain around the 1950s. Um, and there was specifically a group for the, in, group of intellectuals called the Independent Group. Um, and... This independent group include Richard Hamilton, Edward Paluzzi, and critics like Lawrence Alloway, which I will talk about some of these, but not all of them. So, obviously, on the on the right over here, we have Marilyn Monroe, we have Elvis Presley, and we have Elizabeth Taylor. These are all, all iconic artists and actresses. And, you know, they made music and stuff like that. And Marilyn Monroe is one of the most easily mo most recognized actresses out there. So on this next style, we have this um art this very weird art called i was a rich man's plaything by edward paulo this is the first known picture with pop art in it um <laughs> this is all is a very interesting piece of art it was made by a, a scottish sculpture um sculptor edward paulo Paul, I cannot say his name for the life of me. Paul Lazi. <laughs> oh, um, he made it in 1947. Um, and I guess the reason why it was called pop art because it has the word part, pop. And all of his artworks that include pop art um, will have this word pop. Um... And then next we have In the Car by Roy Lichtenstein. Uh, it's, this is an iconic for ghetto romances and ethnology in DC comics. Um, and it's supposed to be an image that represents um, contemporary America. So it, from my research that I found, uh, it's, they hired Roy Lichtenstein to create um, like DC Comics and stuff like that. And so anytime we think of comic books, um, we see pictures that kind of look like this or this art style and stuff like that, um, which is iconic. That's one of the reasons why I love pop art so much, because it's so colorful and everything like that. And we call it comic book style, but it's actually pop art on words of each other. Pop popular. And there's also a great distinction between American pop art and British pop art. Um, a lot of um, some of them use more distance humor. Um, British use more distance distance, humor, and emotion, and American pop art directly soaked up, like, the culture and everything, which is the epitome of America, so soaking up the culture and everything around us, um, and with the pop art being such a big thing, like, it was so hard for me to kind of narrow down, like, all of my stuff and everything, but this is what I got, and 
I wish I, there was just so many pictures to go through, and I figured I would choose the best one, and thank you for listening to my presentation today. And then next, we have this, this iconic picture. You've probably seen um, this Campbell's soup everywhere. You've probably seen it in different colors, like different monochromes, different color schemes. You've probably seen it in blue, green, purple. It's very iconic. This is the Campbell's condensed soup made by Andy Warhol. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say about this. So this, like I said, most iconic art piece. Um, and, um, Andy Warhol is easily one of the most recognized people on in the pop art style in the early um in like the 60s and stuff and andy and roy were both emerged around the 60s in um britain and they are the most known for this and they are the most like they competed against each other a lot and this art form and fun fact if you stop by andy warhol's grave site um People and fans of this pop art style still to this day leave cans of Campbell's soup on his gravesite because of this iconic, um, because of this such iconic painting. And I really, I thought that was really cool when I found that in my research. So, um, and fun fact, sent. With pop art starting in New York, I meant with Great Britain, the hub of it was actually in New York City. And <laughs> the reason why it's called pop art is because it is a popular art. The name pop art is just a play.